Hey guys, I hope everybody's well today. In my last video, I asked if anybody wanted me to do a demonstration of the diamond art that I was talking about. And one of my subscribers very kindly said, yes, please. So today I will have a little chat about um, the diamond art. I'm very new to it myself. I've only done one project uh, that was for my sister's birthday and I'm halfway through an elephant but I am very much enjoying it I've been quite ill this week and it's been a lifesaver just being able to sit down on my bed and just mind numbingly put dots onto the picture just wanted to say though before I go into that uh, I said in my very first video that this channel was going to be about connecting people together Obviously, I have fibromyalgia and I've just discovered FND, I think it's called. It's all a bit new to me. Um, so I will probably talk a lot about that. And I have had some questions about what is fibromyalgia. So I will be doing a very quick video on that. But it's not just about me here, guys. I want to hear from you as well. And I am hoping once we get a few more people into our little family, that we can start doing weekly live chats where we can all sort of get together, say about how the week's been and just connect because I am so concerned that there are people out there that are feeling a bit low, that things have just got too much, they're a bit lonely, they haven't got someone to connect to. I know in my fibromyalgia group we were talking about there's not enough things around for when you really need them. We have a group that... Um, meets up every two weeks online at the moment and it's lovely to get together with everybody and we all talk and you know the conversations can be about what difficulties we're having or about something completely random but we were saying that there's not enough places where we can just when we need to connect with somebody and this is what I wanted this channel for so please guys put in the comments anything you'd like me to do videos on at the moment they're all a bit random because I'm just sort of thinking off the top of my head of things that I know about anyway let's that's out the way let's discuss diamond art and I have been so excited actually and do you know what I keep saying I'm so excited and I've been told I say so excited with the most boring voice ever well I'm sorry guys I am excited about it I'm just not very good in front of the camera but I'm trying so anyway at the beginning of the week I actually got through the post and I've waited for this for oh nearly two months I got my Johnny Depp diamond art painting kit and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you a little bit about what diamond art is and maybe do the project from start to finish over the next couple of weeks and then when this video comes out hopefully I should be able to have the whole thing done and little videos in between without any further ado I will tell you what comes in this kit I can't remember where I ordered this from because I ordered it so long ago it was online and I will find the website if anyone wants to have a look at it but there are some British sites I bought my first two off of Amazon um, I actually have an Amazon addiction which is not good there should be AA for Amazon's anonymous but most of my stuff comes from Amazon this however didn't in the kit you get the picture which I'm not sure if you can see um, it's like a little painting by numbers and down the side here is a chart with different codes and symbols and they correspond to these. I will get the camera in a little bit closer in a minute but it's quite difficult when I'm just working off my phone here so it's a bit of a nightmare. But So you get the picture with the, um, with the numbers on. You also get all the different coloured little I don't even know what you call them they're just little circles of plastic really and each code I mean it's pretty basic isn't it I'm not sure I need to explain it too much to you but each number corresponds to 
one of these colours. You also get a little bag with a tray and this kind of strange pen. All will be revealed soon. And a little tiny block, and this is just wax. And what you do is you'll put your colour that you want to do in here. Give it a shake so they all sort of go one way. You dip your pen in the wax and basically that just makes the end sticky. So all you then do is just pick up each one and put it on the picture. Quite easy. What I tend to do or what I have been doing and I'm sorry, it's another Amazon purchase here. I bought these little plastic boxes and inside this plastic box I'm sorry that light keeps sort of shining off I am so sorry I'm not in the best setup here and each box has its own little lid which if you've got any skills I've got my glasses on <laughs> right this way they each open up and I put all the different coloured beads, beads, seeds, I don't know, plastic bits, in each of these. I then write on a piece of paper and stick it on here so I know what number. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do that for you now, off of camera, because that would be too long and boring. I'm going to stick each number on there and I'm going to fill each one of these with each individual colour. Hope that makes sense. Um, I will be back in five minutes and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so I actually had quite a clever idea. I'm sure you would have thought of it, but I've only just thought of it. Instead of cutting up lots of different pieces of paper, I just photocopied the pattern the, the key on the pattern, cut them out and have just stuck them on the boxes. So now I'm going to start filling the boxes with the, the little plastic bead things. Each of these have a number and they correspond to the number that's on the key. So again, this is going to take me a little while to do, so just bear with me while I fill all these little boxes and then we really will get started on the actual project. Okay, that's taken me quite some time, but I'm back now and I have all the little bead things in the boxes, in the box with the right number and colour on. So I'm going to put the camera down now and show you what I do before I start to just set up. Now the first thing I do is section my picture up into sections and I will explain why in just a moment. So, using masking tape because it's the easiest thing to sort of stick and unstick if you get it wrong, I just kind of roughly divide it in half. I just watched this other people do this on YouTube but obviously you can do it your own way but it just divides the picture up because the actual picture 
under this plastic coating here is sticky. You hear that? It's sticky. And that's what you stick the little plastic things onto. So if you were to take off this whole plastic sheet in one go, you'd probably end up quite quickly with a ruined picture. Now I don't tend to line this up terribly accurately. It just gives me a rough, rough idea of some segments really. No, I'm not even cutting this masking tape very well. It's just to show you roughly what I do. And then you just with a little craft knife, just very gently cut your first corner. I usually just do the one line. And then you can lift that up and just move it back out of the way. So you've got this whole section here that's that's sticky. And I'm going to zoom you in if I can just a little bit more. See if you can actually see those numbers. That's the camera. Hopefully you can see the little um, the numbers. It's like an A sign here. And that's the first one I'm going to do. So I'm going to look in my box for the beads that have got that A sign. And that's that one. So open my little box up. Put some of those in there. Now what I do personally, because I have really, really god awful memory, I put that with the lid still open back in its place in the box. So that if I'm looking and I suddenly think, oh no, what number was I doing? I just have to look on the box there. And I also put it in there because otherwise it gets knocked over quite easily. So now we give this a little shake. And what that does is sort of turns them all over to the right way. To make them easy to pick up. What you want is the sort of domed bit on the top so you can pick that up. Now we get our pen, which lost is the pen. And maybe you can have a closer look at this now. It's got sort of a little little hole in it. And you get your wax and you just kind of put it in and that fills that hole up with the wax and then you just touch the pen onto one of the little beads and basically stick it on. And that is all you do. And then when you've done all the section with the A sign, you could move on to the next one, which looks like a B sign to me. So then I'd put these back into their right box and pick up the next, the next colour. And then once I've done this whole section, I will then move on to another section I might come up to this bit or I might do this part over here but basically that's what you do now I thought when I saw this oh god no I will get so bored of doing that or that's going to make my neck or my arms hurt or my wrist hurt 
and I didn't find it boring at all. I have to say, I still really, really enjoy it. I love how oops, I've missed that. Love how quickly the um, pictures come together. So I'm going to carry on doing this for a bit, and I shall keep doing it for as long as it takes to finish, and then I'll wrap this whole video up with the whole finished product so you've actually got to see it from start to finish all the way through this video Thank you. 